that's it and today in this PSLE 2017 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 3. In my channel, I need to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 3. Okay, so this is question 3. It is testing us on fractions and our model method. So we all use the model in order to visualize and solve this question. And this question will involve some equations as well. So get ready for that. So let's read the question first. Mrs. Lee had a bottle of orange juice. She drank 600 ml of the juice in the morning and one sixth of the remaining juice in the afternoon. After that, there was half a bottle of juice left. How much of the juice did she drink in the afternoon? Okay, now that we read the question, let's highlight the key information. So Mrs. Lee had a bottle of orange juice, okay? She drank 600 ml of the juice in the morning, okay? And one sixth of the remaining juice in the afternoon. After that, there was half a bottle of juice left. So they're asking us, how much of the juice did she drink in the afternoon? Okay, so this is the question over here with the highlighted information. So now that we have read the question, let me draw the model. So this is the model over here. Okay, so let's uh, understand what this model is telling us. So she drank 600 ml of the juice in the morning. So she drank this in the, what? In the morning. Okay, she drank this in the morning. And then she drank this one sixth of the remaining. So there's one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, five unit, six unit. So she drank one sixth of it in the after noon. And this was the re re meaning after they drank okay actually all of this is the remaining over here and then after she drank this became the new remaining okay so i hope you understand that and they're telling us that one unit two unit three unit four unit and five unit is equal to half and so since this side is half, the other side is also half. Okay, so I think you understand the model now. Okay. Okay, so I hope you understand it. Okay. So this is the model. So let me write something first. Over here, half is equal to 5 units. See this half over here? This is equal to 5 units. Okay, I think you all understand why. Because there's 5 units over here. So, another half. Half is also equal to 600 ml plus 1 unit, right? Over here, since this is half, this should also be half. Since this is also half, this should also be half. Because it's a bottle, right? If you drink half, there's half left, right? So, this is how it works. So since you understand this, I'm sure you can understand this. Half is equal to half, right? Since both of these are equal to half, doesn't that mean 5 units equals to 600 ml plus 1 unit? Okay, now we got to use our skills that you have learned in the equation. So this, you'll, th this will be covered in algebra in your school, okay? So there's 5 units here, right? 5 units. So we need to make it all units this side instead of so we need to make the units in one side and then the the whole number in another side okay this is what we want so basically what we need to do is move the one unit to the other side of the equation so you need to move this plus one u into this part. So remember when we are moving something from the other side of the equal sign to the other side of the equal sign, the plus or minus sign 
turns into the opposite of it. So in this case, the plus turns into a minus. So basically, it becomes 5 units minus 1 year, okay? Which will give us 600 ml. So basically, that is 4 units because 5 units minus 1 unit is 4 units, okay? 5 units minus 1 unit is 4 units. So 4 units is equal to 600 ml. We find 1 unit first. Like I said, always find 1 unit. So you find one unit, it will give us 600 divided by 4, it will give us 150 ml. And why is this the answer? They are asking us how much of the juice did she drink in the afternoon. She only drank one unit in the afternoon, right? So basically that is why the answer is one unit. So that is why the answer is 150 ml for this question. Okay, so I hope you understand the answer. And I hope you understand my explanation for this question. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.